This video will demonstrate how to use the app called Cami to highlight and annotate PDF documents. The first thing you'll do is you'll go to your Google Drive and in your Google Drive locate a PDF document that you would like to highlight or annotate. When I double click on that PDF document, it'll open up in the viewer. At the top of that viewer, you'll click the open with pull down arrow. You may have a list of different applications. What we'll want to do is we'll want to connect a new application. So choose the option that says connect more apps. The app screen will appear and in the search box type Kami, K-A-M-I, and hit enter. The Kami application will appear. Click on the connect button. A message will appear saying that Kami has been connected. You'll only have to do that just the first time that you're highlighting and using this app. After that, whenever you open up a PDF document, you'll be able to go up to Open With, and then you'll see Kami listed as one of your app's options. Click Kami. The Kami application will open up along with your PDF document. You'll be asked to authorize your Google Drive. Click Authorize. A pop-up window will appear. Click Allow. Your PDF document will open up in the Kami application. On the left-hand side, you'll have a series of tools. And on the top toolbar, you can do things like zoom in, zoom out. And off on the right side, you have a series of additional tools. The first one that you should click is this Sync button. When you click Sync, you have some different options on the menu. One of those being Auto Save. I recommend you choose Auto Save because what this will do, as long as this document was opened up from your Google Drive, anything you highlight or write on the document or annotate on the document will automatically save to your Google Drive. Okay, so let's take a look at some of the tools. First of all, on the left-hand side, you have your highlight tool. If I click that, I have a series of different colors that I can choose. And now anything I do on the, um, anything I click and drag over any text, it'll highlight that text. There's a strikeout tool. So again, same way. I'll choose a color and then any text that I select will cross that text out. That might be a great option if you're doing some type of multiple choice test on the PDF document. Give students the chance to cross out incorrect answers. The underline tool. Select a color again. Choose any part of the sentence to underline it. And then the option to leave any um, comments. So again, I can choose a color. And now any place that I go to on my document, I can um, click that spot and then leave, leave a comment. Anytime I hover over that, that comment will activate. The text tool allows you to um, simply click anywhere on the document and begin typing in your answer. The drawing tool allows you to circle and draw specific areas on the document. And then there are some premium uh, features um, that don't come with a free package. So for example, drawing shapes, um, signing the document, but you are allowed to erase. So if you do any drawing, so you can click the erase tool and simply drag over anything that you've drawn. The selection tool then just allows you to click and move any items around. So for example, if I wanted to move that comment and replace it over that um, the chemicals, I can do that. As you're highlighting and annotating text on your document, Kami is automatically syncing those changes to your Google Drive. When you're done editing the document, simply close the tab now the next time you go to your Google Drive and open up the PDF document, you'll see that your um, annotations will all appear on the document. If you would like to see any comments that you placed on the page, you will have to open this back up in Kami. But remember, you'll do that simply by going up to Open With and choosing Kami. This video demonstrated how to highlight and annotate PDFs using the app called Kami.